In this video, I'm going to talk about what I like to think of as the silver lining for interest rates rising is that future bond returns going forward are now higher than they were last year. And the best way to illustrate this is with a visual example. So I'm going to share my screen with you here. And this chart came from PeterLazaroff.com. Peter runs a blog and a podcast, and he used an example to illustrate how a 1% rise in interest rates kind of pans out over the next several years in terms of total returns inside of a broadly tracked US bond index fund. And that's the Barclays Bloomberg US aggregate bond index. And so with this example, what Peter's showing is a 1% rise in interest rates. And so what you're what you're seeing is that in the year in the first year of that holding after the 1% rise in interest rates, the value of that bond fund has gone down, yields have gone up. So that means that current bond, bond prices fall. But what Peter models here in this example is that as bonds come to maturity inside of the fund and the fund has cash, they now have the ability to reinvest that money inside of the fund at now higher starting interest rates or higher starting yields. And assuming no other changes to the yield curve, if everything stays static, stays constant, the fund has a negative return in year one. It has a negative return in year two, but a, an albeit a lower negative return after year two total returns. But the returns turn positive in year three, year four. And so the total holding period over five years, even though interest rates have risen by 1% and the bond fund temporarily went down in value, you saw a positive return uh, over that five year span for holding that bond fund. So it's a little bit of, you know, kind of a bad news, good news situation. Certainly bad news when bond prices fall and interest rates rise because our current bond funds are, have gone down in value but it creates this opportunity for the bond fund holder to reinvest the proceeds inside that bond fund or new cash flows, either deposits that you make into your bond fund or rebalancing trades that you're making inside of your total portfolio into the bond component. They're now being reinvested at higher starting yields, which means that there's higher future expected returns inside of that bond fund. So a little bit of a silver lining uh, as it relates to what's going on right now with interest rates in the bond market. So. Hopefully you found this video helpful. There's more links in the description below uh, about fixed income videos. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will speak with you soon. Take care.